Science Maximites. My name is Phil and welcome to Science Max Experiments at Large. Today we're gonna be looking at air pressure and friction and simple machines like levers, pulleys, and gears. We're gonna look at some rotational energy, um, some spring tension, and gravity. We need all those things because we're building Rube Goldberg machines! Rube Goldberg machines! Rube Goldberg machines! Rube Goldberg machines! Machines. Rube Goldberg, you heard me say Rube Goldberg machine. Okay, we got that part, okay, good. Rube Goldberg was a cartoonist who came up with the idea of having a simple task done by a machine that was extremely complicated. There are Rube Goldberg competitions all over the world and there's only a few rules. First, a human can only touch it once by starting the whole thing off and then the machine has to work all on its own. <laughs> I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, Phil, what's the science behind a Rube Goldberg machine? Well, it's all about changing energy. Remember, you start the whole thing off with just a little push. But if you want the machine to keep going and going and going, you have to come up with clever ways to add more energy to the system so you've got more energy to keep the machine going. So check this out. A bunch of stacked dominoes, which will start a chain reaction that leads to this mouse trap, which has all of its energy stored in the spring tension, which will release the ball. Boing! Check this one out. It's a bunch of pulleys, and there's a rope that goes up and down and up, attached to this lever where there's a ball, and there's a big heavy weight here. And when the weight gets knocked off the table, the ball falls into the hole and then goes down the tube, and so on. Check this one out. Here's a great way to change the direction of something. Say the ball falls on this lever. Well, it's weighted on this end, but then the weight falls off, and the ball goes this way. <laughs> Sonia has added one more step to our Rube Goldberg machine, a stomp rocket. It's a hammer rocket. Exactly. Like so that. what's going to happen is the hammer is going to hit our bottle, which right. is going to release all that air that's built up inside of it. It's going to hit that button. Wait, 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 wait. The rocket hits the button. And then we get some... Cake! 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 Oh, yeah, so this is it. This so we're done it. the Rube Goldberg machine uh -huh. with this last step. Okay. Do you want to do it? I think we should do it. Ready? Ready? Three, two, one. Oh. Pause here just before the cake portals in and recap the science. A marble on top of this ramp has potential energy. As it rolls down, that changes to kinetic energy, which transfers to some stacked dominoes. They fall in a chain reaction, finally causing bigger and bigger dominoes to fall, giving the last domino enough mass to pull a string attached through some pulleys to a quick release on a trebuchet. Now, a trebuchet is a first-class lever with a weight on one side and a sling and a ball on the other. If the weight falls, the sling releases the ball at the right moment and it sails through the air. It's caught in a garbage can and changes directions on a few ramps and another lever as a teeter-totter. Finally, it falls onto a rat trap, which has more energy stored in the tension of the spring. The rat trap smacks another lever, which flips around, turning over some antacid rockets. This allows the antacid to mix with the water and start a chemical reaction that produces carbon dioxide, which eventually builds up enough pressure to fire the container to another lever, which tips, dropping some marbles on a string attached to a switch. That turns off the electricity to our electromagnet. And when an electromagnet doesn't have electricity, it stops being a magnet. So our sledgehammer starts to fall. Now our sledgehammer is heavy, so it has both mass and speed when it hits this plastic bottle. All that inertia crushes the bottle, reducing its volume. The air gets put under pressure and pushes out through a tube, which takes our stomp rocket with it. The stomp rocket flies through the air and hits our cake button, which then portals in some cake! Uh-oh. Uh... Uh, huh. I guess we really didn't think that through, huh? The cake should have laid me landed on a table or table something. Table would have been nice. There you go. Science Max, experiments at large. Rube Goldberg machine. Are you sure you don't want some of this cake? No, let's, let's, let's but, go. But, let's go. Uh, uh, let's go. Uh, <laughs>